okay jumping right into it i guess what's up y'all welcome back to the money super truck series here on fox force one we are at michigan this week and uh from here on forward it'll be a little bit weird so i'll have to manually count calculate the points myself so yeah this will be interesting but anyways that is the, I guess the hard part that I'll have to worry about later on. But right now, let's work, let's focus on this interesting racing that's going on here from Michigan. And now, we got a truck in the wall, and we got more trucks going around in turns one and two. And the first caution of the day will come out. Travis Kittleson in a 19, as well as Dario Franchitti and Tina Gordon going around. Val Wolf currently leads the race in that number 97 truck. She races back around to the caution flag. Off of turn number four. Derek Cope has a run, but he's not going to get there. Caution is out. We saw the incident, so let's go ahead and get back to it here. Green flag back in the air. Derek Cope with a huge jump on the outside. It'll be a questionable restart. Let's see if it, see if that was restart. If that restart was legal or not, but, but well, either way, we're back green, and I did forget to change the sound pad. Actually, no, I didn't. I think this is the right sound pad. I don't know. They sound similar anyway. Whatever. Through three and four, Wolf gets back to the lead, so I guess there's no need for a penalty since he lost a spot anyway, and we'll probably lose a couple more as he's stuck on the outside here. But heading down the front stretch, the 77 of Gone pulled out of line, so maybe he will be able to clear. Yes, Derek Cope clears, stays in second. Brendan Gone in the 77 works his way up in the third, slides up in front of the 33 of Hornaday, and he will take that spot. Now looking ahead for second, diving down to the bottom, showing his nose, tried to psych out that seven, that seven car of Cope. Couldn't do anything with it. They both got a run, though, through the corner. Here comes the 77 of Gone all by himself. No help here on the front straightaway. He's going to fall back, possibly lose a spot to the 33 of Hornaday. As Hornaday's going to clear, heading down another one and two. In the MG Cup Series, you will see people make that move. And Brendan Gone did race in the MG Cup Series in that 77 car for a couple seasons. It's probably why he made that move. And the 33 of Hornaday close call but throws the block gets in front of that 77 but as I was saying in the MG Cup Series the runs weren't quite as big in the draft like this so you could pull out on the bottom and try to hold your ground entering the corner and take the shorter way around and clear the person now it's just kind of you gotta stay in line as long as you can you see the 15 of Norris on the inside three wide for the lead here comes Brendan Gaughan Derek Cope clears Val Wolf. Oh, almost clears her. It's really tight there, but the 77 is going to jump up to the top. That's 15 that is now going to get to the inside. Here comes Eric Darnell as well, and the 40 of Clay Rogers into the mix as well. I'm going to have to learn this boy's name. He's going to try to lead the lap. I don't think he did. He might have. As Eric Darnell gets to his inside. And the caution is out once again. Ken Weaver's truck is completely destroyed. Let's go back and see what happened to him. Oh, we got multiple. We had a huge crash back here. Hold on. Four wide off turn number two. And the round goes to 28. And then contact and big trouble. Up and over. Wild wreck for the 78 truck. It's Greg Chapman in the 78. Wow, this gets drilled in the door, goes over, rides on top of a couple of trucks, and finally comes back down. Dario Franchitti's truck is killed. The 59 of Terry Cook, the 2 of Kevin Harvick making more contact there. The 20 of Ken Weaver, as we, as we mentioned. Dana White in the 86 was landed on by the 78 of Chapman. And who's in the 20? I believe that's... That's Shane Sieg in the 28 truck that goes around first. 
So Shane C gets turned sideways, and there is nowhere for these guys to go. You see Dario Franchitti thought he made it through. Ran right into that. Uh, I didn't see the number of that truck that he hit, but ran into somebody there. And I mean, it was just nowhere for these guys to go. Caution is out. And Eric Darnell did lead that lap. Back to the caution flag. Here we go. Green flag back in the air. Eric Darnell, your leader. The 15 with a good jump on the outside. We are racing once again. J.R. Norris. Okay, I was thinking that was his name. Something told me J.R., but I wanted to be absolutely sure. Yep. 15. Did leave for a second. Unfortunately, it wasn't official. And now it looks like he got up into the outside wall, and he's going to fall way back. Outside of the top 10, maybe even outside the top 20 here. We have a sea of trucks heading down the back straightaway. They're all piled on top of each other here. Michael McDowell with a dive to the inside. Couldn't quite get it to work. The 40 of Clay Rogers is going to lead this lap. Matt Crafton right behind him. McDowell has no help. He's stuck in the middle. That's 36 of Tyler Walker's on the bottom. They're four wide heading into turn one as Johnny Benson goes to his outside. Car, trucks are everywhere contact being made up into the outside wall goes multiple and we're gonna have another big crash here from Michigan Wow crazy stuff and Shane C gets a little bit more damage to that truck these guys are flying through look out look out hold the brakes y'all hit the brake hit the brake Blake Borkland in the eight truck torn up Brendan gone is involved see what happened here to bring out this one see the out the entire outside line of trucks all just get into the outside wall and start getting into the trucks below them they all just kind of squeeze together and you see Val Wolf in the 97 getting sent around from that as everybody else around her seemed to save it except for her so that's very unfortunate no they got up into the wall pretty good that's Hornaday day in the 33 hitting the wall and then Eric Darnell gets turned towards the bottom. Oh man, a big hit. Who's that? I think that's Bobby Dodder who got hit. And he bounces into Val Wolf. And then Shane C trying to sneak by on the bottom. Gets a piece of it. Oh, wow. Man. Let's take another look. Y'all just kind of get together. You see the 06 backs into the wall hard. Bobby Dodder. 99 of Eric Darnell gets spun. Derek Cope gets hit by Terry Cook. There's the 07. The 33 getting pushed into the wall again. Poor Ron Horn today. The 07 of Tim Sauter. And then the 60 of Carl Edwards, I think, came in kind of late. Yeah, he's the one that plowed into the back of Bobby Daughter. And then that sent him down under the path of Blake Borkland. Oh, and then Borkland slides into Brendan Gunn. And then. Shane C gets into Edwards a little bit there. Big hits here from Michigan. But yeah, this track's basically another Daytona or Talladega for these guys. Until the grip starts to go away here, it'll probably stay this way for a while. But especially for these trucks, because man, they're, they're moving, but they are not moving quite as fast as those MG Cup guys there. MG Cup Series cars are going about 220 around here. These guys are going maybe 185, 190. Still fast. <clears throat> here we go. 190 down the back stretch. Clay Rogers on the inside. Push from Redacted behind him here. As Rick Crawford makes the move in the second. Here comes Johnny Benson behind him. Crawford's going to try to lead the lap. Here comes Benson. Here comes Joey Clanton way down to the inside, inside of the racetrack. 
He's going to look for some help from AJ Allmendinger. Allmendinger took way too long to get there, but he's going to keep his nose underneath Benson as the outside line got into the wall again. Matt Crafton falls way back. Here comes John, uh, Joey Clanton and the double zero of AJ Allmendinger. Clanton and Allmendinger tandeming down the backstretch, staying hooked up nose to tail as Crawford goes down the block. Here comes Clanton, though, right on Crawford's back bumper. Where's he going to do? Where's he going to go? He thought about staying in the draft as long as he could and tried to make a move underneath. Allmendinger cut underneath the 0-9 instead. That's going to allow Crawford to lead yet another lap. Can somebody please pass this man? And look at this. J.R. Norris is back into the mix. He's got the 30th tie Bodine behind him as well. Bodine. Almendinger, Norris on the inside line, pushing, shoving. Jack Sprague is in the mix too in the 60. And that's going to allow Almendinger to take the lead. Hello, AJ. Almendinger in the Red Bull. Number double zero takes the lead. And now a huge run from Crawford off turn four. He's got a push from Clanton. Oh boy, tight squeeze around goes the nine of Ted Musgrave in front of the field along with Joey Clanton and Clay Rogers. Caution is out once again. Look out, look out, look out, look out, look out. Oh boy, Aaron Fike flying through there. A lot of trucks flying through there. But luckily these guys have got it straightened out and they're rolling again. Oh man, that could have been really bad. That could have been really, really bad. Oh, man, where are the rest of these guys at? Oh, here comes J.R. Norris to take the lead. This time he'll be able to lead the lap as he crosses the line. Oh, boy. Here we go again. It'll be 11 laps to go on this restart here from Michigan International Speedway. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Here we go, green flag back in the air, we're racing once again. Top of the line with a great jump and a great push from this 14 of Rick Crawford. That's gonna help him get to the lead. That's 15 of Norris, did not have any help back there. He's gonna fall back just a little bit, but he has the inside line. He should be able to make up some of the ground as Jack Sprague now stays on his bumper. 15 peaked out just a little bit. Now he's going to pull up in front of Sprague. He's going to have the push that he needs to maintain the lead heading into three. Here comes A.J. Allmendinger back on the inside with the 36 of Tyler Walker. Two Toyotas coming to the front here. Make way for the Tundras. And now the 30th of Bodine. Huge run. Crawford in the outside wall. Four wide behind. Heading into one and two. They're going to make it out alive somehow, some way. Now it goes to 17 of Michael McDowell. McDowell to the front. The 31 of Tina Gordon. The 53 of Bobby Reithmeyer. Tyler Walker pulled up in front of Almendinger. Almendinger said he wants to lead now as he goes to the middle. The leader of each row is a Toyota, but never mind that because everybody just kind of fell apart there. McDowell now slides up in front of fellow Toyota driver Almendinger. Almendinger's been hungry though. He's going to pull out. Yes, he does. There it is to the inside of Michael McDowell. AJ Almendinger is going back to the front here from Michigan. And he's going to pull up in front of that 17 truck as he clears him down the front straightaway. No, he does not pull up in front. He does not want to give McDowell that draft. But now McDowell is going to get a run. He's got a huge push from Ron Hornaday Jr. He gets up into the outside wall. Here comes Hornaday underneath. 33 of Hornaday. No rear end on that race truck. He's back to the front, though. Big time damage for Hornaday's truck. But it doesn't seem to be affecting him too much. And around goes the 31 of Tina Gordon. Upside down It's Rick Crawford. Barrel rolling down the back straight away. And another wild crash is going to bring out another caution here today. With just a handful of laps left in this race. A wild crash for Rick Crawford. The fans are on their feet. They're going wild. They're cheering. They love to see that. 
and now Rick Crawford has no shot at winning this race. Thank goodness. I try not to be biased, but Rick Crawford is an, a, a disgusting individual, and he's lucky I'm even allowing him, or I guess his AI, to appear in this series on this channel. I just feel like it wouldn't be historically accurate to not include him, but he definitely will not be winning on my channel. I'll do everything in my power to make sure he doesn't win. But anyways, wild, wild wreck. We're going to have to go back and see that again. That was amazing. Four wide off turn number four. Contact. Around goes Crawford. He gets hit by Benson. Up and over. And just starts rolling wildly down the back straightaway. Lands on all four wheels. That truck's smoking heavily. And he keeps the thing rolling, but definitely not going to be able to continue in this race. I can assure you that. And if he does, he won't be any quick. Here we go green flag back in the air we are racing once again for hopefully the final time in these last three scheduled laps we are taking the green flag and Almendinger and McDowell lead us in the one and two two Toyotas but now here comes a Chevy that 33 of Hornaday Hornaday with a push from Top Bodine what's Bodine gonna do he's in another Toyota is he going to push that 33 by the double zero or will he pull out and make his own move? He's got another Toyota behind him and Tyler Walker. What is he going to do? He stays in line. Walker pulls way down to the bottom. He's got no help down there. Here comes J.R. Norris in the 15. The 9 of Musgrave goes way low to try to help that 36, but he's just, it's not enough. It's just one truck. Truck's hitting the outside wall. It's crafting once again. Almendinger still out in front just trying to hang on three wide behind him here heading into three and fours here comes the number 30 truck atop Bodine Bodine into the mix he, we know he has a bad fast race truck and he's got a big push from the 36 of Tyler Walker now here comes Walker to the inside three wide down the front straight away heading into the white flag final lap here from Michigan International Speedway as they take the white flag and now here comes Tyler Walker on the inside. J.R. Norris is now back into the mix. The nine of Musgrave is into the picture. He's got damage on the left side of his truck, but he's still kicking here. Three wide behind him, shuffling around in the back. Truck's trying to figure out what lane they want to be in as we head into three and four for the final time. The 15 of Norris right behind the 36 of Tyler Walker, but it's not going to be enough. Dirt racing sensation Tyler Walker is going to see the checkered flag. He wins his first ever money Super Truck Series race here at Michigan. Wow, what a finish. What an exciting race here from Michigan International Speedway. That is going to do it. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe. I hope to see you all next time. But we are not done yet. We have to look at the points. Alright, so. Wait. Oh yeah. So, as we know. Sorry, my brain got confused for a second. But, as we know. Uh, it was a glitch. Because I accidentally, uh, you know, messed up the... Uh, names or, the, or not names but like the count of races so I skipped over race 12 in the scheduled thing so or race 11 actually one of these so it went from race 10 to 12 and since there was no 11 they ended the season um, so currently Hornaday is your points leader uh, after Texas that is with Travis Quapple you know all of these guys so I'd say if you're not within a thousand points of the championship leader, nah, if you're not within 800, there's really no point in me calculating those points, because there's still a lot of drivers that I'm going to have to calculate points for. I mean, look at all these guys here. Look at all of these. There's 64 drivers that have started their engine here, so yeah, that's a lot of people to calculate, but, eh, you know what, I'll just take the top 20 top 20 for now so 
I'll start off. Hold on. Grab my phone here. Go to my notes app. That's where I keep my uh, standings. I know it's kind of ghetto. It's kind of you know, whatever. Not really the best, but it's about as much as I feel like doing. So yeah, here we go. Let's see. Remove some of these history notes that I don't need anymore. Delete that. The new one. All right. 2007 MSTS points. Now, as we can see, the points leader is Ron Hornaday. And. He has currently three wins after Texas. So, the three wins, Ron Hornaday, three wins, points. He has 1594 for winning a race that earns you 175 points. So, basically, what I'll do, just so you guys know, what I'm going to do um, off camera, I'm not going to sit here and make you sit here, sit through me calculating points on camera, but what basically I'll do is I'll calculate the points, right, I'll see, um, you know, where they finished and then give them that amount of points and I'll have basically I'll be on NR2003 NR uh, Weebly because they have a picture of their points there of the 2003 points standing or points what's it called points format so I'll basically use that format and calculate the points myself manually and by the end of the season hopefully I'm not worn out and I'll just, you know, declare the champion by who has the most points. But to make things easier on me, I'm just going to take the top, not even a top 20 at this point. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the top 15. Really none of these guys underneath 15 have any relevancy in the points right now. Like, no disrespect to them and, you know, their names. Like, I know, I'm pretty sure they were great in real life I'm, and I know some of these guys weren't even there in real life that season but you know I'm pretty sure some of these guys had a great season uh, in real life and maybe you know if the season that went on maybe our favorite truck driver would have finished higher in the standings but I I'm, I'm human man I got I, I get tired I, I just gotta go ahead take the top 15 and points and it is what it is all right that's that's all I'm gonna calculate off camera but, uh, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. Oh, no, Joey Clinton. Ah, oh, he just misses it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Wait, he's actually not in back. Okay, you know what? Heck, with it, I'll do your top 20 just to give everybody a fair chance because some of these guys aren't too far back. So, yeah, top 20. That's what I'll calculate. But that's it. Not going any more than that. So, hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. We'll see y'all next time. Until then, peace.